Hello, this is Shirlene with Shirlene's Biblical Kitchen, and I want to welcome you to our show today. We're going to make pancakes for dinner. I love pancakes, but I especially like them for dinner more than breakfast, really, for a couple hours, depending on when you want to start it. For, for dinner at night, I can just start it, you know, three, four in the afternoon. We have here four different kinds of flowers. I'm just going to whisk those together. These are all pretty much ancient grains. There is some AP. That just lightens them up, the AP einkorn and the AP unbleached white flour. Sometimes I do use some white flour unbleached, or I'll take my whole grains and sift quite a bit of that burn out just to lighten it up. But this has some AP einkorn, so it's got the ancient grain. It's got some buckwheat, which is really, really healthy. And then it has some whole wheat, which we know has those, well, the whole grains have 40-something nutrients your body needs. So we have a cup of warm water and about a teaspoon. I used active dry yeast. If you wanted to use instant, you could just put it all in here because you don't have to activate it. This is a um, two to three tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. So I'm gonna add those in and just mix that up really well. And then we'll save that. My yeast is not very activated at this point. But I'm going to use it anyway and just hope it works. I think it will. It's got some bubbles in it. just doesn't have a lot. I think it's enough to make it work. We just stir these up. We'll let it set for a couple hours, at least an hour. Probably two is better on the counter. And then you can make your pancakes. Really, really simple. And it's going to be fluffy. It's going to be whole grain. And your family's going to have that nutrition. Because we know most pancakes, if they're just white flour, you're just eating starch, basically. It does have some protein, but you're missing those 40 some odd nutrients. So this way you're going to get them in and you're, you you really need them. I mean, we don't realize how many nutrients we're missing when we're not eating whole grains. And when you eat a variety of grains, it's even better. Just stir that up just a little more. Cover it with a towel. I'm going to go to Bible study and when I get back, I'll mix up some really good pancakes. And so you can make these. I'm going to put a few pecan halves on mine. I like them with pecans. You can cook them and put, you know, your whatever syrup or butter, whatever you want on them. You can put strawberries sliced. You can put blueberries. I like uh, all of that on pancakes, actually. I like bananas on them. You can just do however you do your pancakes or you can just eat them plain. Sometimes I'll just eat mine with a little bit of butter and leave the syrup off. And uh, so I like the mixed grains in pancakes. We'll be doing some different kinds of pancakes. And uh, I may fry up a little bit of bacon. I may not. I don't know yet. But we'll let this sit and we'll be back. Back. It's been a couple hours. We're going to cook our pancakes. We're just going to give it a little bitty stir. It's got lots and lots of air bubbles. 375 at a time. And you let them sit for a couple hours. All right. I have another recipe where you actually let them sit overnight. We'll do that one another day. But always add some whole grains in there so you can get that extra nutrition in your your diet, your family's diet, the kids. I'm going to put about a half cup of butter on. It's a little less than a half a cup. It's a little bit thick. If it's too thick, if you see that it's just going to be too thick, you can add just a little bit of milk to it, which I may have to do. It looks a little thick. Let's Cook it and see what it looks like. It's going to be a little thick because of the yeast. So we'll just cook it. We'll cook one and see how it does. Look until they get, you know, air bubbles, like little bubbles on the top. When the top's pretty bubbly, then you can flip it over. But don't flip it until then. Don't touch it. Don't try to mess with it. That's why I like the griddle. When I try to cook pancakes in cast iron, I'll, get, I'll burn them almost every time. It gets so hot, and I just, if you can do that, that's great, because you can get those, I have a cast iron griddle, but I don't do well. I do best with, with the electric griddle for mine, but uh, you cook them however you, you're used to cooking your pancakes. A little less than a half a cup of butter, and just kind of spread it out. I think a half a cup might be a little too much. Let's spread it out a little bit with a knife. Looking good. And you can make pancakes, fluffy pancakes, with sourdough, too, as well as with yeast. I'll do those on another day. But sourdough pancakes are 
I use the discard sourdough and they're wonderful. And they'll fluff up and be really nice too because the yeast or the sourdough, which is natural yeast, is what helps them fluff up and be fluffy pancakes when they're home grown. Otherwise, they tend to be a little bit flat or maybe too wet or just not quite as good. They're getting hot and they're starting to bubble up just a little bit, especially around the edges. And I'm going to let them bubble kind of all over the top. Then we know they're ready to flip. Got some syrup ready. I have chopped pecans here that I've chopped up. Get them out. I'm going to put just a few on the top of some of these. I like pecans on my... You could even put a tiny bit of brown sugar in there, but you don't want it to burn, so I'd be careful with that. I think the pecans, will, they'll toast up when you turn them. They're getting pretty hot there. I think they need to be turned. Pretty hot and pretty bubbly. Those look good. Those are very bubbly. Be done. Put another one on. Bring it out. We'll turn that down to 350. It's a little bit too hot. Put some butter on there. Put my next pancake on. Put some butter on there. He said, I have eaten pancakes with just butter without the syrup. If you don't want the sugar, you can do that. The pancake to my puppy dog, if she likes them. Uh, I mean, I give her regular food and chicken and different things too, but she likes pancakes and bread too. So she'll get a little bit. Bottom. On the top. Mm. Those are thick and fluffy these are. What's that yeast? Really makes it. I'm going to eat my pancake and I hope we'll see you on the next show.